Bro, he is a fucking brontosaurus. Always wants to fuck, never can get hard. Dude, it's good to demonize the enemy before yeah, you have to. Yeah, yeah. It's good to demonize him before you have to kill his ass. In this last episode, the task for Kendall is to stage a hostile takeover and, in a sense, prove his strength to his father. What is it? It's a proposal to buy Waystar for $140 a share. Is this a fucking bear hug? That's right. That was a really hard thing to do. I think there were some takes where I was shaking, and Brian, as the character of Logan Roy, is quite formidable. Fuck off. I find myself feeling a sense of what have I done on the day of my sister's wedding. Shiv is totally overwhelmed by this wedding, and Kendall's just adding to this tension and this drama. No one, no one can ruin this. Halfway through the wedding, she realizes that she doesn't want to be married. I'm just not sure I'm a good fit for a monogamous marriage. Right. Asking for an open marriage. I think Shiv's just a total commitment phobe. There's a sort of state of grace with Tom because he manages to forgive her and maybe come to see her point of view. I do love you. I love you too. She wants to have her cake and eat it too. Fuck! And Tom's the cake. The predicament that I found myself in throughout the show happens again here. Things just don't ever really work out for Kendall. <laughs> part of the sequence where the character is making his way back to his room unseen by anybody. Jeremy wanted it to be real and he wanted to be cold enough for it to work. He literally asked for us to have ice buckets of water up on a hill and before a take we would pour buckets of ice cold water over his head. A level of commitment that I'm absolutely astonished by. It was quite extraordinary. Logan wants a word with you. If you've created lots of interesting relationships, you want to see them come to the boil. That's what happens for this season finale. The police are here with Caroline. In that final scene, this opportunity presents itself to Logan and he ruthlessly exploits it. Tell Sandy you're out, go to the desert, dry yourself out. For me, that scene is an unspoken confession. I wasn't there, so. My attempt at finally taking control of my life a rich kid kills a boy, you'd never be anything else. And of course, I can never really break free from my father. <laughs>